So now we're going to cut some tapes to do the grafting. And there's this plastic bag here. It's like Stephen has. Now I've got a lovely Opinel knife somewhere and it's got a stainless steel blade. Stephen Hayes says you've got to make sure the knife's clean. Well, I can't find my Opinel of course so I'm using this Victoria X Swiss Army knife. I'll do a few little test cuts first. Church war on internet sleaze. So there's the cyan wood. Hope it's still good. May you cut your fingers open. Looks nice and green in there. So I'm looking for something with about the same diameter as the sea on wood from Stephen. This is a Yona gold tree. It never seems to get any apples on, so maybe we can rectify that. I'm standing on the ladder here. So we'll see if that one goes. That one feels pretty good and the uh, the end has already started to just start budding. Even as it was in the uh, in the newspapers. The trick is to try and get that thing as flat as possible. little tiny bit of this paper decorators tape around there just to stop it unraveling. So there's the finished jobs. Quick word for Rick Van Man. This um, vine here, I found it on the street last year, and um, it was just this little stump here, and I planted it. And this is what came came the next. Well, this is what grew. So I'm just going to leave this. I'm not going to cut it back and uh, let it grow up. But I don't know if it's a good idea to put the uh, vine in there tunnel because vines like it quite rough they always seem to grow in the worst ground stony dry ground so maybe might be an idea to put them somewhere in the allotment where nothing else will grow and that's the buds which are almost ready to come out now here we are in the greenhouse it's a pleasant 29 degrees in here and there you can see the spinach growing very well. 
I think I've planted it too thickly though, so I might have to thin it out a bit. And uh, all this spinach will, will grow till around May and, and I'll eat it all <laughs> and then I'll put something else in there. But it's a good early crop for the greenhouse if you like spinach. This is very tender stuff, very nice. I've planted radishes before, I remember planting them when I was a little kid. But it never seemed to get anything really, just little little thin roots, half eaten away by stuff. So I've never really bothered with radishes, but as this bed's going to be lying empty for another month, till I put the green uh, Japanese peppers in there, I thought I'd just see what happens for a month with the radish uh, seeds in there. And if they don't work, well, it's not too bad either. Well, there's no sign of the potatoes yet. As you can see, the sky's really blue and it's quite hot today. And it's been sunny and dry for the last two weeks and the ground is absolutely bone dry. Potatoes haven't started to show yet, but uh, they'll come. And, uh, it wouldn't be too bad. I love this weather myself, I love it, but a little bit of rain wouldn't be too bad as well. Just to give the old garden a bit of, a bit of water.